Hi everyone, and welcome to Storytime with Kay. I'm your host, and today we will read The Amazing Spider-Man. This book is based on the Marvel comic book series, The Amazing Spider-Man. It was adapted by Frank Berrios and illustrated by Francesco Ligramondi and Andrea Cagle. It is a golden book published in New York in 2012. Peter Parker was once an ordinary teenager until he was bitten by a radioactive spider. The bite gave Peter super strength and the amazing ability to cling to walls, just like a man-sized spider. So Peter Parker decided to become the superhero called Spider-Man. Peter Parker created a costume to wear so that no one would know who he, he was really Spider-Man. Peter also invented web shooters that allowed him to swing through the city from building to building. Spider-Man can use his web shooters in many ways. He can make a shield for protection or a parachute to float safely to the ground. And Spider-Man can use his webs to stop bad guys in their tracks. Spider-Man also has a spider, spent, spider sense, which alerts him to danger. When his spidey sense starts tingling, Spider-Man knows that trouble is nearby. Some people, such as J. Jonah Jameson, publisher of the newspaper The Daily Buggle, think Spider-Man is a menace. They don't trust him because he wears a mask to hide his face. But most people know that Spider-Man is really a hero. No trouble is too big or too small for Spider-Man to handle. Because he fights bad guys, Spider-Man has made lots of enemies. Supervillains are always looking for a way to get rid of the wall crawler. The vulture wears a winged costume that doubles his strength and gives him the ability to fly. Whenever this bad bird soars into town, he causes trouble for Spider-Man. Dr. Octopus is armed and dangerous. His four metal tentacles are strong enough to lift trucks as if they are toys. Doc Ock would like nothing better than to squash Spider-Man like a bug. The Sandman is made of living sand. He can slip through the smallest cracks or make his fist rock hard to smash his enemies. But Spider-Man thinks fast and always cleans the floor with this gritty thug. The lizard was once a doctor, but his research with lizards turned him into a half-man, half-reptile monster. Spider-Man needs all his amazing powers to escape the lizard's whipping tail and sharp claws. The Green Goblin commits crimes with a rocket-powered glider and a bag full of explosive pumpkin bombs. The Goblin's gloves can fire powerful electric shocks, so Spider-Man has to move fast when he faces this frightful fr fiend. The 
the world is a much safer place because Spidey keeps on swinging. Go Spider-Man! The End